Joining me now with more on the Biden border crisis, Arizona gubernatorial candidate and author of the new book, Unafraid, Just Getting Started. Carrie Lake, thank you so much for being with us. It's a pleasure to have you back. Good to be here. Interesting to hear that interview you just uh, showed with Kirsten Cinema. Um, you know, if she were a little more busy and spent more time here in Arizona, she would know that we could put some money on that border and finish President Trump's border wall. We could stop a lot of the drugs coming over. But she's so busy uh, siding with Joe Biden and uh, pushing his agenda, which is a wide open border. It's rich that she comes down here as she's running for reelection and acts like she cares. I think the people of Arizona are on to her and uh, they want somebody who's actually going to fight for them in D.C. And it's unfortunately not Kirsten Cinema. She's been fighting for her hedge fund uh, friends and uh, unfortunately. Unfortunately, she's completely unaware of what's really happening at the border. Yeah, it, it really is uh, quite sad to see. I mean, we know that if someone else perhaps had been in charge of the state, this probably wouldn't be happening. Uh, what are your thoughts on the latest developments with the uh, terror watch list apprehensions? We've been seeing terrorists come across for a long time. We've been seeing murderers. We've been seeing uh, drug dealers, cartel uh, people coming across. Uh, nothing shocks me anymore at the border. The federal government under Joe Biden's watch is part and parcel to this problem. And Kirsten Cinema has not been pushing money toward the border wall. She's been pushing money toward protecting the border of Ukraine. This is insane what's happening. We can stop it in one day. We can actually start putting the resources and the money to building the wall, have Joe Biden get strong and pull back to President Trump's border policy, which was the most effective we've ever seen in Arizona. But they want this. They want this problem. They want the cheap labor coming in. They want the smuggling of human beings. They act like they care and that they're compassionate. This is the least compassionate thing I've ever seen. They're showing no compassion for the people crossing, and they're certainly not showing a bit of compassion for the hardworking American citizens who are fed up with what's happening on our border. The fentanyl is killing a young generation of Americans and they're acting like they care because the election is coming up. Of course they are. It's just typical Democrat uh, rhetoric and it's it's so sad to see especially because as you noted this could be shut down in literally one day if the right people were in charge. So I'll right. uh, just be praying this gets resolved soon. But anyway, it's just so abundantly clear. The corruption is everywhere in the government, and it's it's so blatant, too. I mean, the Pentagon yesterday saying there was a $6 billion counting error, and we're just supposed to accept this incompetence in one of the highest departments of our nation? I mean, it, it's it's ludicrous. The, the You talk about corruption and incompetence, but when they're putting people in, I mean, think of how they're choosing people to lead up these departments. They're leading up a health, one of our top health expert is a man who thinks he's a woman and dresses up in dresses. The guy in charge of uh, nuclear, you know, capabilities, they finally got rid of him, was a drag queen kleptomaniac who stole luggage at airports. They're picking people based on what equity uh, category they fit in rather than on meritocracy. And we need to get back to putting people in charge based on their merits, what they're able to do, what they're capable to do. And we really need to start with uh, rooting Joe Biden out of office. We know that the 2020 election was a debacle. It was a disaster and it was rigged. And until we deal with our stolen rigged elections and the fraud the election fraud happening in this country, we're going to continue to get people like Joe Biden selected and placed into office to destroy our country. He's owned by the CCP. He's owned by Ukraine. And you can tell because every decision he makes puts the communist Chinese regime first or the Ukraine president Zelensky first, but he never puts the people of this country first. And we're seeing what, what's happening with that. Our country is is really go into hell in a handbasket. It really is. And I think getting rid of Joe Biden would be a great start. There's many others to follow there, but I think you said it perfectly. But we all know that there are still great American patriots, much like yourself, fighting for our country. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.